for years I prayed for people with certain sicknesses and infirmity and I found out that these people were not just healed there were others that were healed God was seeing breakthrough here and there but there's, there seemed like there were certain situations that would not bow every time I was praying for the people I felt helpless myself you know there's a way you can pray for somebody you know that nothing really happened it's just that you want to lie to yourself there's a way you lay hands and you are praying for somebody at the end of the prayer even the person is looking at you you know that nothing really happened that was the situation and many preachers can get comfortable and say after all i'm doing well there are ministerial doors opening but i went to the lord i said lord what is wrong I have seen preachers walk to a sick body in less than one minute one minute hallelujah i was in a crusade ground when i watched reinhard bonke with my own eyes i was there for six hours i helped to carry some of the people who were sick because i said i must get this anointing he casually finished preaching and he took a cup of water and devils were just shaking waiting for a command and this guy jokingly without sweating blind eyes be open deaf ears be open cripples walk i saw it it's not that they told me somebody will wield i saw this thing they were lifting the person everybody was trying to touch the person to stand up i joined with my hand i said whether i'm contributing to it or not and this guy stood up and began to walk brothers and sisters it's not that i've never seen cripples walk but let me tell you there is something about coming near a real miracle and verifying it for yourself hallelujah i saw blind eyes open I saw a lot of things happen I said Lord something is not fair in this equation and whatever it is I will go and find out how can a man casually lean on a pulpit and command eyes to open command ears to open and the devil is helpless at his command and I'm here sweating over certain issues and they are just not working that means the problem is not from God the problem is certainly from our end here and i went and i began to explore god wants to answer somebody's question right now i want to show you a powerful mystery never forget it thank you jesus matthew 16. blessed be the name of the lord as you open it just pray in tongues Arise, shine, your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. This is what will happen to somebody this night. You will arise, your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you you will arise your life come tonight god will show you a key the glory of the lord is real upon me prophesy to yourself one more time i will arise my life is come showed us something powerful a mighty key that will open you to a door of the demonstration of power and of the miraculous please don't trivialize what you are about to hear let the eyes of someone be open my god let the eyes of someone be open 
Hallelujah. Listen. Now look up, please. Verse 13. Sida marataka shila makurata karia. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, listen. Jesus had been walking with his disciples. Let me have two or three disciples. I am Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus, follow me. Jesus went everywhere with these people. Is that true? They watched him demonstrate miracles. They saw a lot of things. These guys were amazed. They saw the sea, the waves. They saw the way situations were helpless at the presence of Jesus. And Jesus said, Gentlemen, I always hear you conversing. He said, Who do men say that I am? They see this mighty man doing miracles. And I'm sure they have been talking. Some have said he's fake. Some have said this guy may be one Belzebub somewhere. He said, Who do they say I am? And the disciples were happy. Verse 14. The Bible says that they were so excited because it was a secret question they had been asking themselves and they said some say you are john the baptist why because john the baptist had been caught in the prison and they didn't see him some say you are john the baptist some say you are elijah because the bible says before the great and terrible day of the lord malachi 4 elijah the spirit of prophecy will come so you are that manifestation of elijah and others said Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, who wrote a lot about the lamentations of, of the Spirit of God. He said, oh, you are just one of the prophets. And then he laughed. Now follow me. He said, all right, I have heard what they say. You have walked with me. You have seen me do miracles. You participated. What do you say that I am? Okay, they say I'm a prophet. Fine, they are wrong. But you... You saw the miracle. They said it was fake. But you, you were in Koinonia. You saw the demons. You saw them being casted out. It's not something that you watch on TV that you say it was fake. He said, in light of all that you have seen, what is your conclusion about me? He said, what do you say that I am? Listen. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ. The Son of the living God next verse and Jesus said unto him hmm, blessed are thou Simon Barjona son of Jonah he said for flesh and blood has that means this operation is not in the realm of flesh and blood if you ever want to walk in it flesh and blood cannot deliver this dimension of result he said this revelation you've had now it is not by flesh and blood are you getting me flesh and blood has not revealed it to you he said but my father which is in heaven listen peter you know why jesus asked them jesus needed to ask them to initiate a principle that he was going to teach the body of christ verse 18 he said and i say unto you thou art peter listen and upon this rock what rock the rock of the revelation you just caught what is the revelation the revelation is the fact that nothing just happens by flesh and blood until there is a spiritual understanding that backs the activity upon that revelation i will build the structure of my church that means for every time you will perform any activity there must be a revelation that you build upon otherwise the activity will just be normal are you getting this revelation in other words listen i can lay hands but the realm of the spirit will check what revelation do i know that activates the power over this activity if there is no revelation power will not flow it's a law in the spirit peter i see that you have gotten a spiritual understanding it is upon this understanding i will build my church to function that means whatever they have to do they will first build on a rock a revelation must be the platform for any activity to be carried out communion without revelation powerless anointing without revelation 
powerless so i can lay hands i tell you i feel the power of the holy ghost in a very mighty way he said i will build my church upon a revelation when you get this revelation you will step into a realm where you become an envoy listen 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 to me the bible says a time came when peter james and john who became the pillars of the church they went with jesus is that true to the mount of transfiguration and the bible says listen we were going to see the practical demonstration of that scripture the bible says they brought an epileptic patient everybody watch come sir they brought an epileptic patient now it was the turn of the disciples to heal is that true the bible says they kept doing everything that jesus did exactly but nothing happened is that in your bible they did exactly they saw jesus doing everything they did it the guy didn't get healed and when jesus came down with three of the disciples he saw his disciples struggling that was what grieved his heart he said until now because he knew it was a law it would have happened without him anyway and the bible says he looked at the boy he says since when did he have this condition and they said since he was a child it throws him into the fire throws him into whatever and he said i believe help thou my unbelief the father said and the bible says jesus rebuked a deaf and dumb spirit out of him and the bible says the guy was manifesting like you always see here and fell as though he was dead people thought he was dead and they picked him up and he got up he was sound the disciple said in one minute we did the same thing what did you do differently is it not the rebuking we also rebuilt we rebuilt it we were tired power did not flow i'm showing you the key why you have not been seeing the move of god it's not about climbing the words i use you will say the same thing and not see anything there is a secret hallelujah many people think it's about talking like the man of god or dressing like the man of god or reciting what the man of god is saying that will not bring power brothers and sisters when jesus did that and the demons obeyed him the disciples went and met jesus listen the disciples say ah why couldn't we cast out see when you are studying your bible when you see jesus about to reveal something pay attention the disciples were asking why they could not do these things and jesus said because of your unbelief very simple like that because of your unbelief then he says however this kind goeth not but by fasting and prayer hold on so he told them the problem was unbelief and he told them to remedy unbelief part of the spiritual activities that will happen is fasting and prayer when you fast and pray something happens in your spirit that brings you to a position where you can now believe listen just follow me i want to establish something very very powerfully when jesus did that listen a time came when jesus now said all right guys i have tested you a while he said go in my name go not everywhere but to the lordship of israel go two by two listen now it was their turn the bible says they went they were all fidgeting and they now looked at somebody and said in jesus name suddenly they saw the demon obey they said ah this thing is working oh they tried it again they saw that it worked they didn't even know what was happening and the bible says they returned rejoicing and said finally even they said even the 
demons were subject to us in thy name jesus said ah you have not gotten the point don't just rejoice that demons are subject to you rejoice because your name is you know is written in heaven and so on and so forth and then a time came listen jesus said as my father has sent me he said so send i you hold on it's not just saying nature there was a way i walked in the earth there was something that made those miracles to happen he said now i speak that let there be access to you to walk in those dimensions so that you'll be able to see those miracles that means listen please for every time you carry out a spiritual activity and it works let me tell you what happens in the spirit there is a system in the realm of the spirit that cross checks whether you understand what you were doing or not if there is no revelation that backs that activity power will not flow are you getting my point the sons of skiva they call that man they say we adore you the demon said not so i am seeing you in the spirit your house is built on sand where is the rock upon which this laying on of hands is built upon i do not see any revelation for that reason i will not go listen brothers and sisters do you know the power of this communion that we take people just take communion oh he's blessed and we take and nothing happens but the day you step into the revelation of what it can do the power of god will change that communion to the literal blood and body of jesus christ and it will answer in your body at once there are many christians trying to do spiritual motions without revelation and the bible told us about those people he said there were two people that built one built on a revelation a rock is that true another built on sand he was just building on religion the bible says now the wind came and tested it and the one who was built upon a rock revelation there was he was not just giving for nothing he was not just tithing for nothing there was an insight in the spirit that makes him to carry out that activity so i don't just pray in tongues because i'm seeing prayer band pray i'm praying on a rock there is a revelation i have come to know what prayer can do so every time i pray power flows through that revelation to edify my spirit and produce results this is why the prayer life of many christians is is not working they humiliate themselves pray for hours and wonder why things don't happen what rock have you been laying hands on the sick upon what is the revelation that granted you access based on what did you prophesy to that brother and say in the name of jesus doors open what was the rock that supported that prophecy hallelujah when david was about to defeat goliath he knew that he cannot make empty noise and he said you come to me with your spares but i come to you in a name there is a name i know there is a covenant i have there is a revelation david and goliath on account of my covenant with jehovah i will take off your head and i know the power will flow and god said that is it you have gotten the equation now you bring out the sling how can an ordinary sling kill a man a revelation produce power envoys of power this is why you see all these things that are happening happening it will happen every time forever it's like a switch when you know how to turn it on you become an infant of fire so you enter anywhere you are an envoy you know how to compel powers to bow you know what to say to make them answer you you know what to say to make them leave you know what to say to dislodge the powers of darkness There is something you must know.